Hi, I'm Jonathan, and I'm here to learn about the Rochester Ranger Sharks and what it's like to be a professional basketball player. Let's go take a look. How did you start playing basketball, and did you continue to play during high school and college? Uh, yeah, I, I started playing uh, when I was a kid. I uh, watched my dad. My dad uh, used to play. He would take me to various parks and leagues that he played in and I just kind of fell in love with the game because of how good he was and how people admired him. So I wanted to be like him. Played in high school. I won a state championship in high school and I went on to play at a division one at University of Tennessee Chattanooga. So you mentioned you played in high school and college. So how do you manage sports as long as like schoolwork and other activities? Oh uh, man, I mean, it's tough. You have to be mentally, you know, prepared for that. It's gonna take up pretty much all your time and, and day, but I knew that this is, this is what I wanted to do. You know, it beats paying for, for school and things like that, so. <laughs> what qualities do you think are most important in becoming a good basketball player? I mean, number one is work ethic. You know, you gotta be able to, to work at, at, you know, not only basketball, but anything in life. So I think work ethic is the number one quality to have. So what made you decide to become a coach? Being around the game, um, you know, when I was younger, I realized that my physical abilities weren't going to allow me to keep playing. I wanted to still be involved and have an impact on the outcome of games. When you attended college, did you decide to major in something related to sports? I actually started at uh, Monroe Community College because I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I uh, ended up transferring to St. John Fisher College, getting a degree in uh, sport management. So how did you like join the Razor Sharks and become eventually the head coach of it? Part of the program at St. John Fisher is you have to complete an internship. It had some good timing. I connected with these guys uh, before their first season. I worked in the front office for the first couple of years. Started working closer with Coach Baker after that first year. And then eventually he hired me as his assistant coach. And then, you know, this year, opportunity came up. Now I got my shot. Do you have any advice to like any young players who wants to become professional or get further? You just gotta work. You gotta put the work in. Like people say, if it was easy, everybody would do it. We've only got 12 spots on our team. You know, there's only a select few guys that can do this for a living. And, and you gotta really, really put that work in. What other ways can like a student who's really interested be a part of the sports? When you look at a front office of a sports team, there, you know, there's sales, there's tickets, there's merchandise, there's general managing, you know, just, I mean, there's a ton of stuff you can do. My advice to kids that want to do it uh, would be to intern places, you know, find internships and do a couple of them because you may go find one internship and realize you don't like, you don't like anything about this job. Make sure you kind of get to experience as much as you can before you start kind of directing yourself off to one spot. So how did you start playing basketball and did you continue during college and high school? I started playing basketball when I was about nine. I broke my collarbone playing football, so I decided to try something else. And I uh, went to college. I started off at Maryland University. Ended up going to Alcorn State University in Mississippi, which, which is an HBCU, um, all black school and I uh, just took it from there. So did you get a, like a scholarship to play in college? Yeah, so my first scholarship was at Maryland University. I was a top 100 player coming out of high school. When I got to Maryland, it just wasn't a good situation. Too many people at my position, so I went to Alcorn State. You mentioned you played very early on, so who was your inspiration while growing up playing basketball? Um, a lot of local guys in Philadelphia, guys like Rasheed Wallace that went to the NBA, Flip Murray, those type of guys, and I just wanted to follow in their footsteps because they got out. I'm from North Philadelphia, and it was just, that was my way out, to be educated and to play sports and to get out and never look back. So is this like currently your full-time job? Yes. And what's the best part of being a full-time basketball player? to travel, to meet new people, to share my story, uh, to hear their stories, and just to help people. And do you have any advice to give to like, anyone who wants to be a better athlete or person? To be a better person, um, you just, you know, just have to live the right way. And to be a better basketball player is just, you know, coming in and I can learn from you, you can learn from me. It doesn't matter if you're in 10th grade and I'm a professional. You might do something very well that I can't do. You know, we have to be humble enough to take advice from everybody. How important do you think practice and hardworking 
is to become a basketball player? I think that if you perfect your craft in here, it not only helps you basketball-wise, but it helps you in life. Like everything in life is about trying to be the best that you can be for yourself. You know, if you, if you perfect it in here when there's nobody here, when the lights are on, it's so easy. And why do you think working hard and practice is so important? Because you perfect your craft. Um, like anybody that's an engineer or a teacher, uh, they go to school for 10 and 12 years to perfect how to educate people like you and myself. Uh, so you just, you go hard and on days like this, even when you don't want to, even when your body is tired, same thing with school. You know, you go to class and your mind is drained from going to all those classes and you just don't feel like doing it that day. You have to do it because you have a bigger goal in mind. And also, as you mentioned, you did play during school. How do you balance like schoolwork as well as more activities and sports? I think that it starts with academics first. You can't play sports without education. And anybody that's tried is have, has failed. You know, so if you put sports first, you tend to not do too well. So I, you gotta knock the academics out first. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna go enjoy the game now. See you later.